Hi everyone, welcome back to Colouring with Kay. Thank you for joining me. So, in this exciting video, um, I have some books to review from um, Polly Jenkins Publishing. So, um, they sent me three books um, to flip and review and I just want to say thank you very much um, to them for considering me um, to do this review. Uh, so, I have the three books which are The Flower Garden, so adult colouring book, 50 intricate flower pattern sketches, so that's the back. They all are printed on Amazon printed paper and then we have 100 mandalas, that's the back of that one, uh, which is quite thick, you can tell from the spine compared to say this one because there are 100 mandalas in it. And then I have Noodles Doodles, which is probably my favourite one. Um, and I was actually considering buying this before I was approached. So that's 50 professional compilations. Um, so that again is the back. If you want to have a quick look, there you go. And I am going to do a flip through of all of them. Now just to show you the approximate size, I've just done a flip of this book. So I'm going to show you... Um, that's roughly A4 so it is a nice size there um, maybe choose a black one that you can see it a little bit better back background so there you go um, that's about the size okay so I'm going to start with the 100 mandalas so like I said they are all on Amazon printed paper and bring you in a little bit um, it's got a card cover, glossy um, glossy covers as well, you can see from the sh light shining on it. So um, as I've got three books to um, review or flip through here, um, then I'm going to just sort of work through it, just bring out a tiny bit, flip through it at a reasonable pace, otherwise we'll be here forever. So we've got the publisher information here and the social media information and then testing your mediums here and colour combinations as well so you can test the page bleed here um, so it says pages in our book can stand up to most pens and markers but some water-based products may grow, go through now that's not massively a problem because um, it is all the images are on single-sided paper and you at least you've got a place to test your media beforehand now I didn't um, test my media because I just went straight into it so um, these are our pictures then so these are just lots of different types of mandalas um, hundred in fact and I've just completed this page so the glitters sort of loose glitters all over the place at the moment but um, I tried out different media so what did I use on here this these bits here because I've just done it very recently um, the purpley bluey uh, parts here have been done with ink tents so I did use some water um, because it's a black background um, I did have a paper there anyway but it was absolutely fine um, with Amazon printed paper I usually you know I will use watercolor um, I won't let the the fact that it's printed Amazon printed paper prevent me from using water but I'll just use limited so I won't use um, you know lots and lots of watercolor but I'll use it for parts so the ink tents worked uh, fine and then what else did I use I used um, these orangey bits here those as well as these bits here were done with the Kohinoor Tritone pencils um, then the purple and the bright blue is Colero Fine Tech paint um, which looks gorgeous I think and then um, I used some Arteza iridescent gel pens and some I'm just taking a um, blowing the glitter off sorry and then um, so yeah the Arteza iridescent gel pens as well as the um, what do we call them the Pentel dual metallic hybrid gel pens and then this bit here is loose glitter that you can see and then um, Sakura glaze pens I think that's all I used on here so um, yeah I'm quite pleased with that so you'll see that um, for the end of April pages as well hopefully with less glitter flying about um, so yeah 
and it was quick and that's what I like um, I am actually getting into these other mandalas now because it is fun using just media however you want um, you know and I, and I don't have to get too uh, sort of stressed and think about it too much I just think you know this it'll just look nice anyway because it's a pattern and if there's some form of you know colour pattern or limited colours that I'm using I'm sure it'll still turn out really nice so yeah there's there's simple ones and then there's slightly more detailed ones I like this one it's got some sort of insects there around you've got a love heart one So yeah, it's nice to have books like this uh, with mandalas that are quite straightforward, simple, don't take too much time. If you're working on, <coughs> excuse me, if you're working on, um, say, really detailed, you know, more stressful page, which you really want to, um, you know, which, which requires a bit more thought and brain power, it's nice to sort of um, have these to come to as well. <clears throat> I like this one. I like the sharp edges. It's a very simple one. I guess you could also use acrylic paint um, which isn't diluted, which is thicker as well. So that would be another option. So yeah, 100 mandalas. This has got some blacked out ones. I haven't seen one like this before and some more blacked out ones those would be interesting see what they look like another one that I like oh, and I like this one as well very nice so yeah I don't um, want to stop myself from using other mediums just because it's Amazon printed paper I will go ahead but I'll just be sensible with it. These are like some sort of birds facing each other. It's amazing how many different patterns um, they can come up with and then what unique you know you can go in any way and you know no two people um, will have the same end product that's quite simple as well So yeah, I really enjoyed um, doing this picture in this book. Um, I think I did one in Noodles Doodles as well because that was probably my most favourite out of the three that I was sent. In fact, I did request that one because I had spotted it on Amazon and I thought I like that one. So yeah, these are great. I mean, using alcohol markers, water-based markers, gel pens, um, everything worked really well. Pencils worked well. On the other, in the other book, I used, you know, I'll, I've listed the type of pencils that I used. But you are all aware of, you know, what Amazon printed papers like. I must say, um, I did find that the oil, like oil-based pencils, for me anyway perform better on this sort of paper than the um, more wax based pencils I think they gave me a better blend uh, that's what I found anyway um, but everybody's different so you could try out your pencils beforehand on the tester pages anyway so that's that's um, a good idea to, to basically do
So yeah, I just want to say that I am in the process of sorting out my wish list because um, I did get asked um, some time ago um, and I will sort it out. I've just been so busy at work that it's um, been ridiculous and I've been trying to sort of put out videos regularly and sort of made that more of a priority. So they do have other books as well. I'd like to say uh, Polly Jenkins. If you look, if you type in Polly Jenkins into Amazon for books in the books category, you you'll find that there are lots of other types of books as well, like unicorns. I think they've got a book on that, and just lots of like dinosaurs. I think they've got a book on. So you could check the other books out as well. These aren't the only three books. These are basically the three books that that were sent to me to do a flip slash review. Nearly there now. And that's it. And there's social media information. Um, like I say, these books are all available on Amazon. So there we go. So that's the 100 mandalas. There's my finished pick again with glitter all over the place. But there you go just gonna flick that off right so my next book um, that we're going to look at is the flower garden um, so again um, we're going to have a quick look at this so it's got the same format um, with a glossy cover just to check yes it does have a glossy cover and then um, the titles of a page which introduces the publisher Polly Jenkins same uh, testing your medium page again like and then we have this book um, I didn't manage to colour in this one but um, at least I've coloured a page each in the other two um, this book belongs to Paige so lovely um, flowers here um, and I really like the fact that there's a border for the pages I like bordered images, as do many other um, colourists. Uh, some of these do look a little bit, um, well they are pattern type aren't they, it does say intricate flower pattern sketches. Um, So yeah, this is a little bit mandala -y type. Just making up my own words there. Yeah, it's got this sketchy style to it as well, which is really nice. But there is a variety. And you've got some, of course, on black background there. Some on white background. So it's nice to have that little bit of variety as well. I think these are the... Um, is it the rhododendron I think could be wrong I don't really know my flowers leaves beautiful roses on a black background this is a nice one to do during autumn time with mushrooms quite a lot of us um, like colouring mushrooms I like this one I like the type of flowers that are on it There was one that I'd picked out here to do and then I thought um, I'm not going to have a chance to get it done because I wanted to, to get this uh, review and flip done really. I like this. Um, it's got some sort of fruits and sort of seeds on it there. This is the one that I had picked out to do because I really did like this one um, with a black background and I was aiming to do it with pencil and a little bit of gel pen I think. I can go back to it in my own time. Got some lovely lilies. I like this one as well.
and this one. More of a pattern type one. So this would be a good one to do during autumn as well. <coughs> oh yeah, these helicopters we used to call them when we were younger. These seeds. So we've been having more like spring weather now so the sun's been out and it's been warmer so it's been quite nice um, going to work in you know nice weather and coming back uh, yeah I like this one as well nearly done with this one and then I'm gonna um, we're gonna have a look at the noodles doodles one so save the best in my opinion to last because that's the one that I like the best. Oh, I like this picture as well. But that will look really nice coloured. And there you have the last page. So the format is still the same with all the social media information here. And then that's it. So that is the flower garden. And then the last one, like I said, is the noodles doodles one. And um, so this is again glossy cover as you'd expect so the format is all the same we have our title page and then the test your medium page and yeah this is this what I like about this one in particular is intricate doodles, oodles of doodles, wacky theme designs. So there's a theme behind each one. Um, so for example, this is, to me, this is, I might get the themes wrong, some of them, but to me, this is fruit, pineapple, strawberry, apple. Um, and then you've got the noodles in the background. So yeah, and quite nice. I need to put my book straight. <laughs> Sorry, it just keeps moving. I do apologize. And then this one's cacti, I think. And then you've got the different types of noodles in the background we've got fish different sort of fish amongst the noodles um i think this one's pirates maybe it's definitely sea based weather it's fun having it going through it and thinking about what the theme is um birds and the bees maybe but there's just a butterfly there as well so it might just be yeah birds and insects i really like this one being sciency so it's um a um lots of different type of flasks volumetric flasks and stuff like that so that's definitely one up my street and then this one here is school stationery and stuff um is this like, I don't know, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, maybe like, um, got pumpkins there, acorns, maybe a smoothie, I'm not sure, uh, birds, definitely a theme there, I like this one, this would be a real nice one to do during winter with different ice crystals or snowflakes, um, we've got some nice takeaway foods I think, Got pizza, donuts, burgers, fries. Not sure about that one. What the theme is? Medicines. Another one right up my street as well. Definitely like this. It's one of my favourites. Um, ice creams. Nice one to do during summer. Um, I'm not sure. Could be. I don't know, um, just food in general. I was going to say dairy, but I'm not sure. I don't think it is. Um, sweets. We all love sweets. Um, or candy, as you'd say in America, I think. And kite and the sun there, I'm not sure. Yeah. 
different type of drinks. I think this might be a Christmas one. Lots of different animals. Yes, I do really like this one. It's definitely one of my favourite. Um, it's so fun. They all have little cute eyes. This one's makeup. That's another one I like. This might be games. I think it might be uh, games. Cats. Another favourite. This might be to do with like a Halloween type scary one. Possible. Um, this koi pond maybe. And sea life. Possibly. Art. Another one of my favourites for obvious reasons. Music, it's a nice one as well. Um, digital stuff, maybe. And the fact is, there's different types of noodles as well. They're not all the same type, so that's nice. Gives a bit of variety. Oh, oh gosh, a Bunsen burner. I'm sorry, tongs, magnet, or oh, sciency. Oh, this has to be one of the best ones for me. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a bit of a science geek, like you might have guessed. Keys. I think I'm going to have to do that sciencey one. So yeah, I love the fact there are different themes and little uh, dogs there as well. Mushrooms. Nice autumn one, possibly. Oh, um, going to the movies. I don't know when we'll, we'll get to do that again. We've uh, definitely forgotten that since we've not been able to go for so long. So yeah, you can see that the um, noodles look different and these are all the different types of noodle shapes. I'm sorry, I don't really know all the different shapes. I've got spaghetti and um, I've actually, is it the pen pasta? Pen spelt with an E at the end and this I was really uh, this I was going to do as my um, little example page that I've done but I thought I'd leave that that's another one you know leave it to another time but it is one of my favorites definitely books I reckon the theme and then I did this one so um, I used lots and lots of different things on here and that's why I listed it and look uh, I think it's come out really nicely um, so what did I use I used a hoo hoo markers brush markers the alcohol markers the big intensity fine liners and they were the ultra fine liners with a really small point I used prisoner pencils for shading in between here just to add a bit of depth on on top of the alcohol marker I used polys so for the insects like I think I used I think this was Polly's here, just on this turquoise bit here. I used the Brute Funas, but the Brute Funas was used on here and here. Now the Brutes, which I'm going to call them um, from now on, work really nicely on this paper, gives such a smooth blend. And then I used Crea, I think I might have used Crea here. Actually, where did I use the Crea? Maybe there, actually, that might have been the Crayart pencils. I used loose glitter, of course, which is all of this that you can see. Very glittery. Um, I used confetti. So here you can see a little bit of uh, sort of magenta and turquoisey confetti in the spaces in the pink bits, background bits. Um, so I used confetti on it with some, some quickie glue. I used Etsy watercolour metallic paints. So, for example, we are, where are we at? There, on the wings there, don't know if you can see the pink tint on the wing there as well. Um, and then, yeah, various metallic paints and then glazed pens, like all the blue bits that you can see here um, around the individual insects is uh, glaze sakura pens and then just glitter gel pens 
in places. So yeah, I am um, pleased with that. I just need to shake off all the glitter because any loose excess glitter um, comes off. Um, and I only finished this yesterday, I think. I wanted to get this video done ASAP. And that's the back of it. And then, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. So you see that at the end of April again. Finished pages. And it didn't even take me long to do. And then you've got the social media, um, social media information. Just to go back to this page, just a quick note again. I think I mentioned it earlier, but yes, I, um, the um, I found that the wax based pencils didn't work, didn't blend for me as well as the polys on Amazon printed paper. Um, the prismas work well, and I know they're quite wax based, but I liked the blending. Prismas worked okay. I mean, I, I prefer the oily, oil, more oil based pencils on this paper because it gave me a smoother blend. Okay, right, I shall shut up now. And um, that's the end of the book there. And that's it. So I really hope you enjoyed um, seeing this flip review um, on these three beautiful books by um, Polly Jenkins Publishing. And I'd just like to thank them again for um, considering me for doing flips and a review. So until next time, take care everyone. Bye.